Let us understand how we can take care of insert into table using python based approach. Here are the typical steps you need to follow to actually insert data into the table using programming language such as python. You need to first ensure that you have data in the form of an object or collection. Then you have to establish the connection to the database. You have to create something called as a cursor object. Using that cursor object you can pass the query as a string and you should be able to execute using a function called as execute. So cursor have a function called as execute. You can invoke that by passing the query statement in the form of a string. We need to pass the object of collection as an additional argument along with the query statement. We can insert one object at a time using execute and multiple objects at a time using execute many. You should also be familiar about using insert statement to directly insert data into the table. If you are not, follow this topic. It will cover all the aspects to insert data into the table using database level insert operation. As part of this topic, we will primarily focus on the nuances related to programming language based approach. The typical insert statement uh, against the database will be like this. We will build this using programming language and we will try to insert the data into the table using this insert statement. It is not very common to use this approach for web or application development but still you should be familiar using this approach as well. When it comes to data engineering applications or data analysis using python as a programming language we can directly build the insert statement and submit the insert statement to insert the data into the table and we can take care of getting the data into the table. But when it comes to web or mobile application we use a wrapper on on top of this insert statement called as uh, ORM. SQL Alchemy is a popular ORM which we typically use to actually get data into the tables using web or mobile applications. However, we are not getting into those details at this time. We will be primarily focusing on building the insert statement like this and get data into the table using lower level database related APS. You need to have decent database and SQL skills to be comfortable with all types of application development with respect to performing the database operations. If not, feel free to master SQL using PostgreSQL as target database using this course or the playlist. The video which I have shown earlier is part of this playlist itself. You can go to this entire playlist to understand more about mastering SQL using PostgreSQL as an example. If you want to go to the course, you can take care of focusing on DML or CRUD operations to understand how to insert the data into the table using database level insert statement like this. That being said, now let's go ahead and understand how to build that insert statement and insert data into the table, either one object at a time or the collection of objects at a time. Here is the create table statement using which we have created users table as part of the previous topic. We will be using the same table. We are not going to create the table again. We will be leveraging the existing table and take it further. If you haven't created table yet, go to the previous topic. Make sure you create the table and then come back to this. Also, I have developed a notebook which will actually create a function called as get underscore connection. And also using that get connection, it actually creates SMS connection object. We will be using that SMS connection object here. To make sure that we get that SMS connection object, we have to run this notebook. This is how you should be able to run existing notebooks using percentage run magic. As long as you have the notebook with that name, it will take care of executing that notebook. Whatever is there as part of that notebook, you will get it as part of this notebook. So the scope of variables such as SMS connection, which is defined as part of that notebook, is now in this notebook. You can validate by adding a cell here and then copy pasting this SMS connection and running this cell, you can actually take care of looking at the connection object. So in case if you are interested, you can preview the connection object like this. Let me delete this and then let's get into inserting one record using hard coded values. So using the SMS connection, I am invoking cursor function and I'm creating an object called as cursor. Then I'm creating a string called as query, which have the insert statement. The insert statement have hard coded first name, last name, and the email ID. If you go back to this create table statement, user ID is a serial and also it is a primary key. As it is serial, the column will be populated using sequence. When it comes to first name, last name, we don't have any defaults and they are not nulls and hence we need to include first name last name and also email id so we need to have the values for all these three columns then only we will be able to insert data into the table for all those where we have defaults the defaults will be inherited for the user id where we have defined as serial the sequence will be used to populate so using just these three fields first name last name and email id with corresponding values like this we should be able to insert one record into the table using cursor.execute function which is available on top of cursor object by passing the query which is nothing but of type string and then you have to commit for that you have to use connection object then say dot commit it will take care of committing this one record into the table then you can close the cursor as well as connection object let's run this 
you can see that there are no errors to ensure that data is inserted into the table i am directly running a query on the table if you have psql or sql workbench you can use that also to ensure that the insert statement is successful in this case i am using jupyter approach itself i have to load the sql magic create this database underscore url environment variable using appropriate information to connect to the postgres database using this username password host name port number as well as the database name now i should be able to run this to see one record is inserted into the table the first name is scott you can see here the last name is tiger you can see here and the email id is nothing but scott at tiger.com as there are no unique constraints enforced on any of the fields if i run this again there will be another record with the same information but user id too i don't want to insert again i am just saying that it will not fail even if you run this 100 times it will just keep on incrementing the user id for you and uh, there will be 100 records as there are no other constraints which are violating here now let us insert another record using variables for column values earlier we have inserted using hard coded values this time we are inserting using variables that being said let's establish connection at another time because earlier we have closed the connection as part of this cell you can see and hence we have to recreate the connection for that i am running the same notebook which we have ran earlier to get the sms connection object now if you look at the insert statement which is defined here in place of hard coded values like this I am specifying percentage yes as we have three columns in the insert statement in the columns clause as part of the values clause we have three placeholders using percentage yes then we have to create an object the object can be tuple the tuple also should have three values as long as the number of values in the tuple matches the number of placeholders as well as number of columns it should work without any issues now using the cursor object which is defined here we should be able to invoke execute with a query which is nothing but this statement then the user which is nothing but this object it will take care of inserting one record using this user object into the table now let's run this let's load the sql magic it is already loaded earlier that's why it is saying sql extension is already loaded there is no need to actually define database underscore url yet again but i am running this now we should be able to run this and we can see two records in the table one with user id 1 scott and tiger and other with user id 2 donald and duck for first name and last name now let's create a function to insert one user at a time it should take two parameters one is connection object and second one is user object user object is nothing but of type tuple we are opening the cursor here by saying connection dot cursor it will create an object called as cursor if you look at the query here we have five columns user first name user last name email id role active and you can see five placeholders for five columns which are defined here and then we are trying to execute this query along with the user object which is passed to this function so as long as the user object contains five elements we are good to go so let me create this function called as add underscore user let me create the database connection yet again because we have to pass connection as well as the user object let me define the user object in this case with five values first name last name email id user role and is active now let me invoke this add underscore user function to insert one record into the table let me close the connection we should not have the close as part of uh, the function itself typically we close outside the function this is the typical flow which we follow we have to first create the connection then we have to invoke the function with connection object as well as the object which you want to insert once it is done then you have to close the connection if you have connection close as part of this itself you might run into some issues and hence i have moved the connection close outside of the function now let's validate the users table by running these three cells now let's create a function to insert one user at a time it should take two parameters one is connection object and second one is user object user object is nothing but of type tuple we are opening the cursor here by saying connection dot cursor it will create an object called as cursor if you look at the query here we have five columns user first name user last name email id role active and you can see five placeholders for five columns which are defined here and then we are trying to execute this query along with the user object which is passed to this function so as long as the user object contains five elements we are good to so let me create this function called as add underscore user let me create the database connection yet again because we have to pass connection as well as the user object let me define the user object in this case with five values first name last name email id user role and is active now let me invoke this add underscore user function 
to insert one record into the table. Let me close the connection. We should not have the close as part of uh, the function itself. Typically, we close outside the function. This is the typical flow which we follow. We have to first create the connection. Then we have to invoke the function with connection object as well as the object which you want to insert. Once it is done, then you have to close the connection. If you have connection close as part of this itself, you might run into some issues. And hence, I have moved the connection close outside of the function. Now let's validate the users table by running these three cells. You can see there are three records in the table. The third one is with user ID 3, first name Mickey and last name Mouse with user role as U and is active as true as specified in this object. This is how you should be able to develop a function and use it to insert objects into the table. Now let's understand how to insert multiple records which is nothing but a list of objects at once using execute many. Let me create SMS connection object right again. Let me create the cursor object and then as part of the query statement there is no difference it's the same. We have five fields in the columns clause and six placeholders as part of the insert. 